uh, chair, and I believe the management of the county resources is so sacrosanct issue that the person that the people of Meru or any person that has been given this opportunity to serve should take it with the seriousness it deserves. In my own opinion, although the matter at question, the issue of audit query, we should try and address it as of now because it is very critical and it's important. I want to agree with uh, Professor Ungeri that either the governor uh, withdraws these documents or ensures the pro proper procedure is followed, that it is charged with authorization for his chief of staff to, to sign. Because my worry, Chair, as I conclude, is we, if we allow this to happen, we will be setting a dangerous precedent where even a director or even an employee of a county assembly of a, a clerk can sign on behalf of the governor. And that is when we'll start allowing the governors to abdicate their responsibility, not only legally, but the trust that the people of specific county has been given. So in my own opinion, this document should be withdrawn and you, we look on a way to address this audit query, but this document as it signed should be withdrawn and allow the governor to proceed with other matters. I thank you. But then finally, Senator Linturi, then uh, the governor shall respond. Yeah, Chair, this is a matter who personally will not want to take any such thing. Because we are trying to address some serious aspects of what I would call some impunity, and which we must all uh, endeavor to stop. And Chairman, yes, it's true, the governor seems that's an officer in his office. It's not in doubt. He also uh, uh, claims that the chief officer also acts as the chief, no, the chief of staff acts as chief officer, public service. Section 45 of the County Government Act clearly uh, provides on how a chief officer can be appointed to, uh, to the position of chief officer. I would want the governor to tell us whether in his acting capacity, because he's he acting for more than one year, whether he has ever presented him to the county assembly for vetting, so that he acquires that power and mandate to commit the county government of Meru. Secondly, Chair, why I'm saying you should not take this matter lightly, is that when he says the other officer was not in, even if, even if the other officer personally would have been comfortable because I am persuaded to believe that uh, uh, the, state, the responses must be signed by the deputy governor, CEC finance, or the chief officer, is that this letter of the responses we are referring to are dated 11th of May, which I'll do so. That is what we are considering. But the most uh, uh, interesting situation, Chair, is that the documents that I have in my possession, the documents that were found or responses that were found here, signed by Kimati in his original copy, which I have, compared with the document that has been presented to us, completely shows a different signature. Because Kimati has signed the document that came here. The document that we have today here that we are considering is also signed Gideon Kimati by Tifo. So you find that here, because if we have drawn them and they are saying the first the right person to communicate to us could be someone else that has this responsibility, he signed for Gideon Kimadi, Gideon Kimadi, who has signed for county secretary. So these documents, without being properly signed, different signatures coming from different, from the same person, Chairman, I will find you, or I will persuade you to find that for purposes of record and ensuring order in this Senate, that these documents are inadmissible. And, and this, is, this is the original form which was given before Senate, which you can, which signature you can be able is to... Is that the one uh, that was dated 12th yes, of April? The one, the one that was sent earlier? Precisely. Okay, fine. J just to wrap up, you, you're done? Uh, Governor, may you respond? I think you understand the concerns. Uh, give us a response that can allow us to frame the way forward. Uh, thank you, Chair. Um, I, I think it's unfortunate we have spent a lot of time on procedural issue, uh, but I, I think we need more clarity, either through directions from this committee or from the rules themselves, because the only queries that we receive in the county government 
are actually addressed not the CEC finance, they are addressed to the county secretary. The only query is addressed to the county secretary. And the correspondence is also addressed to the county, is addressed to the county secretary. And the, it is not very clear, uh, you know, there, there, there is no rules or requirements as to who should reply to the, the, the correspondence that we receive. Indeed, on our part, the financial treatments are signed by the relevant officers in Treasury. Yeah. And what I, I request is because, as some, I mean, I don't know your members have said, we are not disputing uh, that the responses have come from my office as the governor of Meru. I'm warning them and any person who is exercising executive authority in the county government of Meru acts under me. So these are my documents, and I would like them to be accepted as such so that we can make uh, progress in this matter. Okay, we, let me then advise as follows. You refer to clarity on the audit process. Unfortunately, when we did the Public Audit Act, and you were in the House when the Public Audit Act was rammed down our throats, we made the mistake of saying that regulations under the Act shall be done by the CS Treasury. Mm. It's too busy to do regulations under the Public Audit Act. And I think we need to change that so that uh, the person with power to do regulations ought to be the Auditor General. Uh, the, 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 so there'll be a failure in clarity, but the Act presupposes that the regulation shall come from Treasury. And we have had an internal discussion on whether we can even amend the Act so that some of that clarity comes as part of the Act rather than as regul regulations. So we are seized of that. Number two, the, in the absence of regulations, the guidance you need will come from the Constitution, Article 179, and from Article 201 that uh, deals with public finance. I think it has been dealt with very clearly. Our expectation is that the governor who is the chief accounting officer, if a title like that existed, because the chief executive officer shall take responsibility for the response to parliament. As you have rightly stated, our letter was addressed to the governor. But the principal assistant of the governor is captured in Article 179. It is the deputy governor. You cannot have a chief of staff who then becomes Joseph Goebbels or uh, that lady in France called Marie Antoinette who asserts the power of the executive and asserts the authority of those who have been vetted by the assembly. If the governor was unable to respond, the deputy governor was unable to respond, the CEC finance would be next in the hierarchy. And the CEC finance also happens to be the deputy governor. If all these were not there, then the persons listed as bearing a fiduciary responsibility ought to have been the respondents to parliament not a chief of staff. And I think that is a concern that we've been saying consistently since we started this. But to balance, I've heard one member say that um, the governor has taken an oath. You are here, you've taken an oath. And basically when you present this, you are presenting it as your document. I think what is offensive is seeing a chief of staff signing for county secretary when there are other people with a clear duty, people who have been paid a salary, to do the job that the chief of staff is asserting. I want to uh, seek a, a middle ground position. The governor is here. Uh, OK, you I want to propose that uh, we get a middle let it be middle ground, not radical. Yes. No, I'm ne I've never been radical. Okay. Because the governor needs that uh, for uh, these documents have come from his office. And uh, as in shown, that we have two documents bearing different signatures from the same officer. I would suggest to chair the governor to pick the two documents, looks at them, and the count, uh, uh, and the countersigns one of the documents that he wants us to rely on. That so so at, at, at the beginning, I think we had agreed that the docu the letter, the document sent on 12th of April, are now superseded by what the governor has tabled. Uh, so we might want to disregard that because you, the governor said it's, it is supplementary rather than new evidence. No, chair, the documents that we sent that will not be missing or that were withdrawn, 